Okay, you guys, we just jumped into this episode and we did not do a beginning. So here we're going to go back and do a beginning. Welcome to River Rafting. It's on again. Woo-hoo. Yes, June 21st. It is on. We can't wait. We've heard from the Lord. We've been engaging with angels. We have uh, heard what our 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 ability to be together and be gathered together to do on Tuesdays at 2 o'clock Eastern. And this is your uh, notification that we're definitely doing it. And we invite you to go to berlinnewbie.com forward slash river. Check out all the details. Um, When you hear the session, you're about to hear the rest of our recording this morning. You're going to want to jump in with us. We, We just heard the Holy Spirit say, we're inviting you to river rafting with the Holy Spirit with Donna and Berlin. And the Holy Spirit said, it's going to be like a tsunami. Boom. There you go. We'll see you on the inside. Yep. All right. So we stopped recording <laughs> from the last part and we just kind of continued the conversation and we said, okay, well, we better be recording. So welcome to the nth degree. And we're just going to continue talking. Yes. So, Donna, say what you just said, because that was brilliant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get that back. Um, oh, I was talking about how uh, some of some of humanity may not know that they are meant to look beyond the 3D realm. Like if you weren't raised, if you weren't taught spiritual dimensions as a child, um, if religion took that from the spirit of, the evil spirit of religion took that from you, stole that from you, I'm I'm really sorry because that's some of my, some some of my history. And, um, and, And yet when you begin, when you come into the desire to know more about your spirituality, that it's a whole part of you you didn't get to explore. No one encouraged you to explore it. In fact, a lot of people told you not to explore it or to be afraid of it. I'm sorry for that because that is some of my experience. And and so I, I, I was saying when we were talking about being a vessel, if you're only contained to the 3D realm, God still loves you. If you've only just been able to you know manage your 3D realm, uh, and you're doing an okay job with it, bravo, right? God loves you, but he wants more. This is why Jesus came. He wants to give you more of himself. Himself is a spirit being. You are a spirit being. And so to begin to grow your spirit within your human being is the, is one of the reasons why you're here. Because we, you and me, Berlin, we all have a, a sphere of influence and an assignment, and those assignments flow throughout the seasons of our life. And as they flow, we begin to uh, grow our spirit man and call our spirit man forward and let our spirit lead our soul and our body. And that is that is the fullness of living as a, as a human on earth. And we were meant for that. Um, the problem comes in where people are trying to do that and they're, they're kind of taking a wrong turn and they're doing it with illegal power. That would be the occult and illegal power is power that people are trying to get from uh, anything outside of Jesus. Jesus Christ legitimizes your spirit. He legitimizes you. He redeemed it. He paid for it. He atoned it. He made it right. And all he wants is a relationship. He's in it. Jesus is a giant invitation. And the depth of Jesus, it'll rock your world (laughs) because he's so many things and he is going, he is all all in all. That's what Hebrews tells us. And uh, so, yeah, we just invite you to consider these things if they're new to you. If they're not new thoughts to you, we invite you to go wider, go deeper, go broader, go higher. And, and I, yes, I'm sitting here to intentionally encourage you and your spirit walk to go beyond. In Take your it to the hand. nth degree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Donna, that's so good. The, another thing that we talked about in the last part, the part, the first part of this conversation was the focus that how Satan keeps us focused on the 3D world. And sometimes I just wanted to add that is sometimes it's not Satan. Oh yeah, this is this is true. It could be you know, mm-hmm. even us, me. Uh, let me just speak for myself. 
I get focused on the 3D world because it's my job to help business owners manifest, bring to earth, literally walk out, implement things that they brought from heaven. And so we not only go up to get those strategies and the, the pieces of their destiny that they believe that they're supposed to walk out, but then we also have to deal with the soul woundings and the hurts and the mm -hmm. filters and the structures that were built on false beliefs and mm -hmm. mindset. Uh, we, anything that blocks that from coming down mm -hmm. and through mm -hmm. into the 3D realm. So therefore, you know, I guess I need to make sure that I'm balanced and not only focusing on how do I bring it down? How do I bring it down? And all being, being about that trans dimensional through, through the layers and into the 3d. Um, I mean, that's what, the way that God wired me, but I need to be able to just only spend time in the spirit realm, just in him, in that quantum field of infinite possibility that is in his heart and just be there for a while and not worry about mm -hmm. how am I going to bring this down and what do I need to do? Yes. How do I implement this? How do I manifest this? How do I, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about that is that God will take you. He'll, when, when you just say yes to exploring this with God, he, he'll, he will take over, like not take over. Do you know what I mean? He, he will help you. He'll lead you. He'll guide you. He'll walk with you. Walking by the spirit is exploring the spirit being that you are and that he is. And walking by the spirit is exploring a realm that flesh body doesn't have its primacy in that you don't, you're not primary in that realm. You were, you came from that realm, but, and you're going back to that realm in Jesus, you're going to a great place, right? But you're, you're also meant to be the tethered part to the 3d realm. And let me tell you, Yahweh wants us to be tethered to the 3d realm. Otherwise he wouldn't have given us a body. We'd just be spirits in the, in this realm, but he exactly. did give us a body. And, yeah. and that, that really brings up, a lot you you had brought about up um, occult practices and things like that for connecting. Well, mm -hmm. I want to talk about Gnosticism. I just heard Chris mm -hmm. Carter do something, but Gnosticism seems to be in woven in with that Leviathan um, kind of yeah. Spirit. Define Gnosticism for them. Absolutely. So Gnosticism believes that we our body is bad. And we need to only exist in the higher planes and we need to always be up on, in the heavenly realms, uh, ascended, living the ascended life and all of those kinds of things of, uh, that untethers, that cuts the ties to the mm -hmm. earth realm and to uh, what Jesus did. It's Gnosticism is a slap in the face to Jesus because he came the word became flesh. flesh. Mm -hmm. He did that for a reason to redeem the earth and yeah. to mm -hmm. have that 3d mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. and to show us how we need to have the 3d experience to bring about the redemption and the restoration back to the father's original mm -hmm. design. But the original design is not only existing in only in heavenly spaces he says that the new earth will come down i mean that that is the millennial kingdom of what it's going to be i mean it's uh -huh. like he he didn't design us to only be <laughs> ethereal right right and right and narcissism is totally wrong <laughs> right so in the infinite wisdom of god he gave us both he gave us a exactly. physical realm and 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 uh, desires us to enjoy earth, to oh, yes. enjoy while we're here, to enjoy family, to enjoy um, the the work of our hands, right? The actual creative process, perhaps. Uh, he also then gave us our spirit to enjoy this spiritual thing. It's both and with God. He is a giver of both and. Um, so yeah, so we're not we're not purported, purporting that you would be just a spiritual being or or just a natural being. We're saying let's marry the two and let's be both. Um, life is meant to be enjoyed, and life in this realm and life in that realm, 
and, 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 and imagine how, I don't know if this speaks to your spirit, but boy, my spirit leaps up and says, oh yeah, let's do more of that. I, I like all this idea <laughs> of both realms because your spirit actually can help you in this realm. It helps right. you in that realm too. Right. In the, right. in the, and we're talking about the unseen realm, the heavenly realm. Mm-hmm. Um, Mother's kingdom specifically. Yeah. And here's another way to say that, Berlin. Why would evil spirits always seek bodies to live in? in the in the 3d world because they we have something good your body is good they're disembodied evil spirits and they're hunting around for a body why do they need a body because they want to do something (laughs) in the in the earth realm they want to interact in this space right right in this space in this dimension that that yahweh said no I'm, i'm making human human race for this space and their bodies are good remember god said everything he made was good and you know, so, you know, I, I got a body. I'm, I'm working with Jesus and Holy spirit to keep my body cleansed, shut all the doors to anything that thinks it wants to come in. Nah, not on my watch. (laughs) And, and, and so these, these things, if you've never heard this type of language before a conversation before, welcome to the nth degree and (laughs) welcome to being confronted a little bit with the consideration that there are many on the earth that are moving, moving in this and being a spiritual and a natural being at the same time in Jesus Christ. Yeah. I think probably most of our audience understands that, but they need to understand conversations with people who don't, which is always kind of my stumbling block is because, you know, I, struggle with people who want to live with blinders on and want to live under the control of religion and in a religious box. And Uh. I struggle with people who just say, no, I don't want to have the conversation to open up into what God Mm -hmm. has called. And I get that because we, we do have our, our fellow human, human, just speaking of our fellow human neighbors. Uh, some of them have bloodlines that are highly resistant to what we're talking about. And some of them have traumas that have caused them not to seek after anything that they can't physically like this coffee cup, you know, hold it up and, and, right. and, and, and be able to control it. And to those people, the interface of love is the, is the interface of beckoning to them, uh, 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 an invitation to it, to explore something else. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, my heart, my heart goes out to those people because we, we do live among people who have experienced trauma that have made them fearful. And, and yes, it's the work of the enemy. It could be the work of our ancestors. Um, yeah. So it, you know, it all comes back to the enemy, but but it's not necessarily the enemy poking you because it could have put right. your ancestors. Right. In. And yeah. some of your stuff, let me just be real clear on this. Some of your stuff is not your stuff. Some of your stuff is because right. you inherited blood from ancestors. And the enemy was wicked and evil in that era that you that they came that they lived in. And so you're the one to redeem the blood. Remember, Jesus said, through I will do more through them than even I did on the earth. And, and that's the work of the redemption. So redeeming your bloodline is the work of prayer and the work of um, seeing what Holy Spirit wants to do. You get to be the one in your bloodline to, to work with Jesus on that. And, and it, just, it, yeah, go ahead, Berlin. No, I was just going to say to clarify when you said some of our stuff isn't our own, literally, that can be as simple as that thought you just had about yourself that was negative wasn't even yours. Wasn't even yours. Right. If you, if you really be the observer to how you're thinking and you're able to take thoughts captive, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're the observer, you will notice that usually there's a flip in the language when it says, when the enemy says you're not good enough, you flip it to I'm not good enough. And it happens in a split second, you know? And so if you, if you're the observer, you can see that flip and you're like, Oh, 
he just put that in my head. I am not coming into agreement with that. Mm -hmm. No, get out, get mm -hmm. out of here. I know yeah. who I am. Yeah. And we call that projection. He's projecting yeah. from his, 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 he actually, usually when the devil is a devil, devils, evil spirits, uh, we're going to try to be playing on our nth degree here. When they're speaking, they're trying to get their frequency to resonate with your frequency. They're trying to arc in an evil way. When you say out of your frequency generator right here, no, I am not that you are that I, let me tell you, that is the most, some of the most powerful statements was in when God taught me that you have to say, that is not me. I don't want that. You want that. Get out of here, devil. Say it out loud. <laughs> Boy, if we think, imagine of the, the spaces in, in the planet, the buildings, the streets, the communities. If we were saying some of these things out loud, where light frequency is emitted, darkness has to flee. That is a principle of the universe. I love that. <laughs> and that comes, that brings me back to something we talked about in the first part. Um, you were talking about the mouth being the, the frequency releaser and that all of our bodies do too. And, you know, back in the day, 2011, 2012, when I was studying all of this before I brought it into spirit centered business, I was studying, you know, the Institute of Heart Math says that our heart is an efferent organ. In other words, the thoughts come from our heart, from heart. our brain. And the electromagnetic signal can go out from our body. And at that time, it was eight to 12 feet. There have actually been studies that it's infinite. Oh, I, I don't, you know, I'm not a scientist. I don't know how to measure infinite, <laughs> but let's go with 12 to eight feet or eight to 12 <laughs> feet, right? <laughs> and the, the electromagnetic uh, frequency of our brain only goes out about three feet. So literally you can affect the environment around you. I mean, you've all felt people who walked into the room and you can just feel their presence like, whoa, they're weighty, right? Or if they're walking in and they're cranky, you can tell like, <laughs> I'm just leaving right now, right? Or have you ever been in a, in a vehicle with, when, that, when that's happening? Have you ever been in a vehicle when it's you? And, and you're just like, I, I, I gotta get, I gotta change the frequency. I mean, we get stuck sometimes and things happen, right? You, you yeah. stub your toe or whatever. I mean, you know, that's lighthearted, but, yes. but so, yeah, you, if you think about these things, you in your life out there, you're going to, you're going to go, yeah, what she's talking about. That's a real deal. <laughs> it really is. And so that is why when you're speaking with your mouth, you have to follow it up with the faith, the trust, the intention, the, the expectancy Expectation. Mm -hmm. of what you're saying, because I can say, I'm a frog, I'm a frog, I'm a frog all day long. I am not going to believe that there's no juice from me in my spirit, in my heart Mm -hmm. that gives credence to I'm a frog or whatever you're saying. You have mm -hmm. to be able to believe it. And so this is why the new age concept of affirmations specifically is what they call them. Affirmations mm -hmm. don't always work because you're not in belief with them. Mm -hmm. So you can say, I make $10,000 a month easily and effortlessly. And, you know, and they say, Oh, do that 30 days in a row. And then you'll be <laughs> doing like, yeah, no. Right. It because, <laughs> because it's not being, it's not from your heart. Exactly. Your heart doesn't believe your heart is believing something else. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there is a ramp up mm -hmm. to doing that. And I have this in my, in my uh, book, your business has a destiny. I'm working on so many books. I have to remember which one that's in, but that one talks about when you're making the declarations, if it's something you don't believe in yet, yet it's a principle that God says you are like, I am a King. Mm -hmm. And you're not feeling like a King. Mm -hmm. You can, there's a backup that you way down, you can say, I choose to believe that I can be a king, you know, and then I choose to believe that I'm a king. And then I am a king. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can, you can back yourself up to get that belief to the level that it's going to be real and potent. Yes. Now I would, I would say that I love the way you say that, but I want to add a vernacular to that too. Um, 
ask yourself in Jesus, if, you, if you're a believer, if you, if, you, if you follow Jesus, if you're um, seeking after God, okay, you can ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what should I believe? The, you are, you're, you're coming into a marriage union with your human spirit and the Holy Spirit in, who resides in all, all believers. And so you're, you're, you're seeking after the agreement and a, and a type of marriage, right? With your thinking. Mm -hmm. This is why we are meant as children of God, sons of, sons of God in Jesus Christ to hear the word of the Lord, because the Holy Spirit can speak to you. Holy Spirit will say a thing and you'll find that because Holy Spirit always speaks from the spirit of truth. So he speaks the truth in your little human spirit will resonate with that. And that's what the evil spirit of religion can't stand. Because when you know that you have heard the spirit of God, you have heard from the spirit of truth, you have heard him say something. No one can take that from you. I am telling you, no one can take that from you. This is why we, this is why we encourage people to journal. What are you hearing the spirit of the Lord say at any time in your day? Pause for a minute. What is the spirit of God saying? Write it down, but don't just leave it in your notebook. Do something with it. We'll talk about that on another session, but um, <laughs> you, you know, you, you're, you you want your belief system is because you have the capacity and the invitation to hear from the spirit of truth. Ah. Uh. That's so good. That's so good. I was just looking up, um, I brought up my book um, to see exactly how I wrote it. And it's number one is this is the ramp up to the belief. So number one is I choose or I desire to believe whatever. And then the second is I am willing to, because apparently there's a, there's a place in you that if you don't, if, if, as long as you're healed, you will be able to will and has set an intention. That's what I am willing to. And then mm -hmm. I am ready to. So, so those are some other progressive steps. Yeah. Progressive that, that help you walk into that. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And, right. you know, as believers, if you're trying to say, I, I mean, I just will jump into this deep end here. If you're trying to say something that, that Yahweh hasn't given you yet, Holy Spirit is not going to resonate with you. So there won't be that connection. So you, that's, that's the purpose of relationship, right? Relationship oh, is communication. Good. So yeah. you just say, okay, I'm, I'm saying that, um, you know, I want to believe for this and Holy Spirit saying, um, it doesn't feel true in you. Okay. It doesn't I feel like agree. there's that union of agreement with Holy Spirit. Well then step back down and say, okay, I love you, Lord. Help me. I need your help. I, I love you. What is your word to me on this? Yeah. What is your word to me? He may give you the word for the next hour, or he may give you the word for the next 10 years. The problem is you may not know the, the difference. Uh -huh. And this is where people get so, they get so upset with God. They'll hear a word and they didn't ask the second question. Is this, is this for now? Is this, is this the thing you're giving me for now? Um, yeah. Or is it, is this a longer thing? Your, your, the dreams that Holy Spirit has given you, you'll see things like that confirming the word of God to you. So mm -hmm. you, there's all kinds of communication pathways from father oh, and, and we're learning how to employ them. I'm so glad you said that because that's one of the things that when I work with people um, doing, I use the live vesting tool to, to help them clean up their, their self or their business or whatever we're working on. And when we get the results of them breaking off and getting the woundings to fill it back up again with truth and what are the results that you just mm. did? I always ask, does that feel true to you? Mm. Because mm -hmm. sometimes they hear things that is the truth. They hear it, but it doesn't feel. It doesn't have like that resonance. Mm -hmm. And so then we have to go back and say, Lord, what's in the way of them feeling like this is really true because there's some more healing that needs to happen. Yeah. You know? Healing. Yeah. It could also be, there's another lie in place that needs, exactly. lessing, right. Yeah. It could also mean that, um, you've just found a critter That's and the, true. And the critters, critters 
you know, the, 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 the evil spirit is sitting there going, no, you, I'm not gonna let her believe that. So, you know, that there's all that just launches into a whole lot of inner healing and other, other avenues, um, that are accessible. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and then to, I don't know why I'm feeling like I should say this, but I'm just going to say it. I feel like somebody out there is listening and what they need to hear is right now, the Lord has said already to you, you need to love yourself. Yeah. You cannot love your neighbor if you don't love yourself. And so the work on loving yourself is to ask father, show me what's lovable in me. Mm. Show me what you love in me. Show, show me what you like. If you can't use the word love, just say like, God, what do you like about me? Mm -hmm. And let that be a pathway of communication for a while between you and the Godhead and, and grow into the love of yourself. That's so good. One of the first things when I was stepping into the heavenly realms and understanding this, and this was in a Chris Carter conference back, uh, 2017, 18 timeframe. And what that, when I asked the Lord, what he liked, he said, he liked my, my blue, my streak of blue. Mm -hmm. And yes, I've had it that long and yes, I'm going to keep it. And it was, <laughs> it was, it's because this, the, the tell, reason tell them because the, some cameras may not pick that up Berlin. Oh, sorry. Tell them what, yeah. She, Berlin has a shock of uh, oh. beautiful turquoise hair that it's she turquoise. keeps there. Yeah, yeah. Teal. Mm -hmm. This is my breath of heaven to prove that I've been there. And it's on this side because I'm sitting seated at the right hand of the father. Yeah, so that, so that cool. is what this is. And Jesus told me he liked it. And I'm like, I burst into tears. I'm like, oh my God. Because yeah. <laughs> you so liked cool. it. And then to hear the Lord yeah. say you liked it. Yeah. Right. 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 There, well, I yeah. had done it because father said you are marked. Um, and so, you know, I had wanted to do something. I have always mm -hmm. done something a little mm -hmm. different with my hair and I've wanted to do something. And I'm like, oh, the upkeep, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. But but God said, but no. right there, Berlin, right there, we're talking about you heard things in the supernatural, the beyond, the unseen realm, and you tethered it to earth by 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 the by what you did with this lock of hair. Yeah. And so you see, ladies and gentlemen, that again is the invitation to be in the spirit. We're we're a citizen of two kingdoms, right? We're the citizen of the kingdom of heaven. The, right. the kingdom of heaven is actually tethered into the inside of us. And we are in this kingdom that is that is resident on earth right now. And Jesus is changing that kingdom. And we get to be the expression of that because we're here. As long as you have breath, you're meant to be here. And so people say, well, the will of God, you know, yes, the will of God. If you have breath, you're meant to be here. And then there'll come a moment where your spirit man will know you're being called home. Mm -hmm. yeah. But and until it's then, another, it's just another chapter in your adventure. Uh, there's, you know, the adventure that you're going to have in heaven is going to be just as marvelous and wonderful and even, even more astounding and pressing into the mysteries oh, and yeah. understanding the depth and not knowing of God. It's the, it's going to be just amazing. There's no sitting around like pick a robe, pick a cloud, pick a harp. You're going to be saying, holy, holy, holy all day long. I would be like, <laughs> Hard pass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, once again, Berlin, I think we filled up our time. We have been all over the map. Welcome to the nth degree. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we're not going to apologize for that. And, um, but we're going to say, come and follow You can follow me over at dwellhouse.net. That's dwell house with uh, two L's in the middle dot net. And, um, it's a growing website and you can find me on MeWe. You can find, uh, us on rumble and, Berlin, where can people find you? Spiritcenterbusiness.com is the best place. And uh, there's several free things. Um, gosh, you know, I just need a whole free things page because I've got so many of them that people can get all of these cool resources and activations. And I actually have a, a challenge up there free. So and you all need to go take advantage of that. Yeah, <laughs> go poke around over there, <laughs> podcast, whatever. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is Donna Nieper and Berlin newbie for the nth degree. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.